Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to talk to you through about this newer 360 ball head overhead tripod. And we're going to talk you through five things to consider before buying a tripod. Start the intro. Hey. going to talk to you about five things that I looked for before purchasing this tripod and I hope it helps you to decide which tripod is for you. My first category is price. This one is priced just under £120 here in United Kingdom and I have looked at many other tripods which are under £70 and over £200 tripods such as Manfrotto. So you have to identify what budget is right for you before shopping as there are tripods that are under £20 which may not be enough for you and there are tripods over £4,000 and that may be overkill. Set your price first. A tripod that is worth £70 may hold your smartphone or GoPro but it may not hold your fragile camera and lens. I will suggest you to not go cheaper than £100 tripod. The second category is weight and load capacity. When buying a tripod this is a vital important to consider before making the purchase as this will limit how often you use the tripod itself. This tripod is made of aluminium, it's weighted about 2 kg and it can withstand up to 12 kg capacity. The package includes carrier bag and a transverse tripod for a macro shot. This tripod is 2 in 1 which it can convert to monopod and it has the detachable leg. Due to its size and weight, it's very easy to carry for hiking and other ventures. Bigger and heavier tripods are good for stability, but it comes at the cost of two things. One is the price itself, obviously the bigger and the better it is, but it is very bad for portability. If you have a heavy DSLR camera, such as RED camera, I wouldn't suggest you to trust your camera on this particular tripod. This tripod holds my smartphone and Sony camera with lens perfectly fine. Next, I want to focus the separating thing between videos and a photo tripod, which is the fluid head. In this tripod, it does not have the fluid head, but you can buy it as an external part. However, the fluid head is for more professional uh, videographers who are interested in getting that silky smooth panning shots and tilting. For example, if you're filming a fast moving object like cars and kids running around, this ball head will not do the job. Therefore, you still need to buy a fluid head like the Manfrotto. The fourth thing is for you to consider is the minimum and the maximum height and this tripod gives you the maximum height of 75 inches which is a little too tall for me. For scenarios like sitting down shots and standing up, any tripod could do the job, but I'm looking for the ability to do overhead shots like this one and unboxing products as I am a tech reviewer, then this tripod was a very important for me to select because it allows me to do the overhead shots without me configuring the tripod itself. And additionally, it also allows me to do a macro shot. While we are talking about the height is things for you to consider but is not that much important is the legs itself. So some tripods comes with a clip like Manfrotto legs but this particular tripod comes with the twist version and this may be some sort of a, a efficiency delay. For me it's not a deal breaker so the twist is not a bad thing but I will suggest you to go for a click method which is a lot quicker than the twist. Right, so apologies if the image quality and the audio quality has changed. That's because I'm filming with my smartphone. Um, so that's my iPhone 13 Pro there. And well, we're basically, I want to give you a bit of a understanding for you in a context of how you can actually use this. Um, so you've got basically the quick release plate that is literally at the top and you just twist that and then that is quick released from your uh, professional camera. And then to insert that, you just need to slide it in and then that is in there but obviously you need to secure it again you just need to fasten and that's all done so the next part here that is you need to do is if you want to rotate it into an angle and then you can control that from this ball head so the ball head you just need to loosen it up and then you can control it the way you want it at what angle and then if i just tighten that and the next knob is that it's this one here so you just need to um, loosen again this one and then you can change it from what pan you want it 
achieve. Obviously, the, the faster you loosen, the faster it goes. So if sometimes if you wanted that fluid head look where you want to loosen it up really smooth a pan, then you can do that nice and slow. So I'm going to tighten that. The next one that we're going to go ahead, which is one of my favorite and one of the main reasons why I purchased this particular tripod is that uh, it has the ability of doing overhead. So I'm going to show you and demonstrate how you can do it. So I'm going to make sure that this is fully tight. So this is what you need to do in order to achieve that look. So you just need to undo this and then this comes up and then until you hear that click, you just turn it around and then you can do that. So by turning it around, so depending on how much you want it, the length. So if you want it fully length, you just leave it like that and then you lock this in. But if you want it up to a certain period and you don't have to need, you don't need the entire length. So what you can do is you can go uh, back a little bit inwards like that and then you can leave it like this. So that is all set. Obviously, you want it to show downwards so you can change that from the ball head. So I'm just going to undo the ball head and then that is rotated to face downwards. There you go. Something like this is what I'm going for. So let's say that the height that you wanted is not enough and you don't want to do the legs. You can do it from this part here and then just undoing this, it basically gives you an opportunity to lift it upwards. So you can do that and then lock this. So this may be a, a decent size that you may be interested in and you can lock that just like that. But uh, obviously you don't need to use this part here, this pole. So what you can do is use the actual legs and I'm gonna show you the twist legs again. And the twist legs is basically um, easy and simple. So you can just do that, twist, open, twist, open, twist, open. And that's quite a lot. So I'm closing all in, close, lock, lock, and then lock. So that's fully locked. And you have the adjuster of this part here. You can adjust it how much angle you want it. And then you can leave it to whatever angle you prefer. So you can just literally do that. And that's as simple as this. So you can see that is the click up where you can open it up. So finally, if you want to change this as a monopod, you can do that and by undoing this particular um, one leg and you can change that as a monopod. To bring it back up, you just need to undo this again open it up, lift it up, and then bring it in, and then lock it. So that's fully locked. Everything is fully locked. And then this is how it looks like. And it's easy to carry. So including my uh, professional camera here, um, I would say somewhere around less than four kg. And obviously it's not going to tire you if you're going on a hike or if you're going on a travel. So you could just literally have it on your bag or you can just walk around like this. And that is quite handy and it's quite light. So that is one of the main reasons. Again, if you buy a big bulky uh, tripod and you want to do a lot of things like um, walking around with it, then you're going to quickly give up and not take this tripod with you. So that's why you would end up buying a smaller tripod that is more convenient for you. Bonus point is that when buying a tripod, it must have a multiple levelers and that will help you when panning shots up or down. So that way you can see the bubbles that is not going uphill or downhill. So a bubble leveler, it's a must. So there you have five things I recommend when looking to buy a tripod and how this tripod fits all of these points. If you have a larger and expensive camera, then it is no brainer that you need to invest a heavier tripod that can safely withstand the weight. If you want a smooth panning shot, then it is a good idea for you to buy the fluid head.